be here. A lot of other great fighters made history um, with myself. So, um, thanks for being here and uh, welcome. I want to mention February 9th at the Barclay Center in Brooklyn, where Golden Boy will be putting on, I believe, the second show of our relationship. And what better way to start the second show off like the first show? We always try to outdo ourselves and at least make that attempt by making great matches that the fans and also the media who's going to write that night ringside or follow up starting Sunday, I guess, Monday and Tuesday into the weekend. So now we come back February 9th to bring on another great show with Danny Garcia, who is the WBC Ring Magazine champion, and also Zab Super Judah, who I've been around and watched for many, many years. And his attitude and his mindset compared to when he started off as a pro, which is not a bad, bad resume. He can't be unestimated and disrespected of not coming with his A game because everybody knows Zab Judah know that Zab Judah comes and he comes to bring it. And, you, and he's in Brooklyn. And Garcia, who's from Philadelphia, and we know how, even though they're not doing well this year, but the Eagles and the Giants has always been a writer. And so, even though Garcia is not fighting nowhere like Eagles are playing, <laughs> but he's here to not only represent himself and his family, but the city of brotherly love in Philadelphia, which have a great tradition. Zab Judah and Garcia is going to bring on the best fights in that division. And believe me, I don't believe it's going to be an empty seat in that arena at the Barclays Center. I, I just don't. I mean, like I told Richard Chafer, right after the fight with Danny Garcia and Morales, I said, man, listen, Zab Judah, they love Zab Judah in Brooklyn and New York, but Brooklyn, they love Zab Judah like they love a Mike Tyson. And let me tell you something, every barbershop, not only in Philadelphia or urban cities, in Brooklyn, in New York, in the five boroughs that's here in New York City, every barbershop and hair salon of African Americans is going to be at that fight. So I'm going to tell you, you're going to see a lot of real hair, weaves, <laughs> nails. I, I'm telling you, and this, my, all my sisters here and everybody know that's no disrespect. They know I'm telling the truth. That's going to be the talk of the barbershops, Zad and Garcia. But let me tell you something. I'm so glad to be part of not only great shows and a great promotional team as Golden Boy Promotion. To understand that we started off five and a half, maybe six years ago, saying that this day we will be where we want to do the best shows. And if it's competing with other promoters, then we won't get into that contest. We just do good shows and let y'all make that decision. So, the undercard also. I mean, you have great talent underneath the undercard that you can't sneeze at either. Trust me. There are some guys that you're going to say could have easily been main events on their own and carry their own weight. And so I'm a big, it's going to be very exciting to see that also. And so I'm going to let Richard and my next uh, 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 teammate or, or company come up and say what they have to say because, you know, I just think that when we get into this game of boxing, you want to fight the best when you're a champion. And so I say before I close, Danny Garcia, Zab Judah, they get a chance, and I believe they will, matter of fact, I know they will, they get a chance to be able to show what professional boxing is like and what we bring to and what they bring to the table and we bring to the table, that boxing is alive and well. And I'm glad that Golden Boy is making that happen through the great fights. 
month after month after month after month after month coming to the fans where now Showtime get a chance to now shine and be able to have big fights not only from the main event and the co-main event sucks and the fights before that sucks. This is a card where you're going to come and say, I want to get there before the main event. When you can get people to come there before the main event, you know that you got a loaded gun card. You know you got a loaded gun card. For many, many times and many years, and a lot of people here, y'all know, especially writers and everybody, you don't get dressed until close to the co-main event because you ain't gonna go watch the other fights because they don't mean nothing to you. They're not exciting. You read the list, you wanna know who fights. So I'm glad that this fight is a fight that you're gonna come February 9th on Showtime to see Danny Garcia defend his title against Zab Super Judah, who's a veteran, who fought everybody, who has a style, who's been in the ring, seen everything. And this will be a test for Danny to prove that any doubters out there, anybody just might say, well, Morales was a little bit of, you know, of this, a little bit of that, because you're always going to have them. He's taking on someone that he don't have to fight. That's a living legend that has a slick style, that's seen every style in his weight division that can bring an Azab Judah experience, a newfound faith is his life, his kids, his family. I watch interviews, I've seen segments of his second birth and his mindset. So I'm looking for a good fight. Thank you, Kelly is <coughs> giving me that. <laughs> so I'm letting you know, I'm gonna take care of it later on, but not in front of you, but I, 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 I straighten out later, but it's good. Thank you very much. And uh, Richard, 